What is up guys, it's still Dende here and today I'm bringing you some Borderlands 3 and this time I'll be showcasing one of the legendary weapons found within the game. This weapon is a Hyperion SMG called the Bankroll Predatory Lending. It has red flavor text which reads, bullets are cheap but not that cheap. The weapon parts I have on my one give it minus 21% weapon damage plus 10% critical hit damage and it has a 2.6 weapon zoom. It also comes with a weapon shield which has a capacity of 70 and any damage inflicted upon the shield will ricochet back into enemies. How you acquire this weapon is in the drought on the far left hand side as you come in from the far where Lilith and Vaughn are. Once you get here you'll encounter a Crawly or it's a Barkid called the Lavender Crawly. What happens is once you kill it, it will then turn into a pod. Once that pod explodes it will split into two more enemies. Once you kill each of these enemies, they will turn into pods and spawn two more enemies each. That gives you a total of seven enemies to kill. As you can see, I'm only level five when I'm fighting this enemy and it's a level eight. They do go up in levels each time you kill them, so they will become level 10. If you are thinking about going for this, I'd say bring a corrosive weapon to be able to deal with the lavender crawler quicker because it is basically a badass barkid and it is armored. This is a video from my live stream that shows it dropping. When I got it, I was, you know, pretty excited. I was like, yes, new leg, new weapon, but you'll soon see that it's not all that great, just like some of the previous legendary weapons in the previous games. As you saw, it dropped from one of the smaller of the last enemies. As you can see, when you're firing this weapon, it will kind of show money signs and dollar bills and things like that. That is because if you look on the right hand side, it uses your money to shoot bullets. So your money is your ammo. So if you're poor in the game, you're not going to be able to use this weapon effectively. It's good against swarm enemies, so smaller enemies that there's lots of. I wouldn't say it's good for big one single target enemies, but it does have decent range being a Hyperion SMG. It will eventually counteract the recoil to a point where it has none. So it's good at all ranges, I'd say. I'm going to showcase off the bullet deflection shield on this level 7 fanatic. As you can see, every time she hits my shield, it deals 20 points of damage to her. I'm not too sure how the ricochets act, but I like to think that if someone shoots directly at you and you are aiming at them, the shield will deflect the bullets right back at them. I give this weapon a 4 out of 5 for accuracy because it is a Hyperion weapon it does actually get the less recoil the longer you fire it perk so it does have no recoil pretty quick actually. The fire rate I give it a 4 out of 5 again because it is Hyperion they usually do have higher fire rates than most others. The damage I've given it a 3 out of 5 because it is about average compared to all the other SMGs I've actually used around the same level. The design I've given it a 3 out of 5 because it just looks like any other Hyperion weapon to me. It actually looks more like a pistol than an SMG. Practicality I only give it a 2 out of 5 because it uses your money to actually shoot. Although if you have a lot of money in reserves late game it could be pretty good but early game I'd say don't use this weapon save your money for SDU upgrades and better weapons from the vendors and finally is it worth grinding it's only a 2 out of 5 for me because I don't think it is worth it and I'm not too sure if there is a way to actually grind it as such I'll leave this uh, little midget to tell you what I actually think 
friggin' heretic! Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.